Okay, thank you. Uh, good, good evening, everyone. The graveyard shift, as they call it. Drinks are served in one minute, by the way, if you're interested. So thanks for attending the last session of the day. Um, this is a two-topic session. We, we put two topics together um, for your pleasure. The first one is a um, very important uh, topic, uh, but the most exciting topic is the second one, to be honest. Uh, my colleague Ahmed will uh, present on um, some outstanding technology that Autodesk is bringing forward called Forge. So uh, I'll try and get through the cloud security piece uh, rapidly so we can get on to the, the good stuff. But cloud security is increasingly important. Um, and you hear a lot about the cloud and you hear a lot about concerns about people's data, people's designs, people's stuff um, in the cloud. But uh, let me start by asking you a couple of questions. Um, do you now or do you want to use things like real-time collaborative design? This is uh, uh, Autodesk Formit. Um, and people are increasingly collaborating uh, across platforms, between offices, between countries even, uh, using this sort of technology. And this is only possible through the use of cloud computing. Would you also like to analyze your models, your data earlier, more efficiently and more effectively? Again, uh, analysis tools in products like Revit um, are enabled through cloud computing. And one of the great things about cloud computing is that you can carry on doing your, your work while everything is being calculated and downloaded. You, you're not tying up your laptop um, or your workstation. Or would you rather create concepts in context? This is Autodesk uh, InfraWorks, um, which my colleagues were just debating um, in depth at the back there a few minutes ago. Uh, and this allows you to uh, collaborate with huge geographic areas, with um, infrastructure design, um, and also some analysis on that. And you can do that in the field, you can do it at home, in the office, wherever. Or would you really like to get sexy and funky and start using things like generative design? If you've seen the, uh, the Autodesk uh, gallery out there, most or all of those models have an element of generative design in them. If you don't know what it is, it's basically computers thinking for you and creating your designs um, over and over again until you come to um, a correct solution that will save you time and money. That's a chair, by the way, in case you were wondering, that was designed by a computer. Finally, would you also like to visualize things in virtual reality or augmented reality? Again, if you haven't had a chance, go and have a look at the, um, the Apollo 11 virtual reality uh, model uh, in the gallery. This is all possible because we use cloud technology. And if you're doing any of those, you're already using cloud technology. So what is it? What is cloud computing? Well, essentially, it's the internet. And we use the internet and massive computing power off-site to do all of those highly CPU-intensive uh, procedures, uh, designs, analysis, etc. One of the good things about cloud computing is you don't need to be a geek. All of that complexity about networking, APIs, programming, etc., is basically hidden from you. It's done somewhere else. It's done by very cl clever people somewhere else. So you don't have to spend your time working out um, what's what. But of course, there are objections. And this is really why we're here. We're here to uh, talk about these objections. Some of them are scientific. But actually, in surveys, what really, pe what really people uh, object to in the cloud is a gut feeling. They don't like their data being somewhere else. They don't like something happening outside of their office. So it just boils down to a sense of insecurity. Even if their work processes are more efficient, they're faster, it leads to greater profitability for the company, they still have this feeling that, oh, it's not really safe. 
So let's have a look at that. Here are recurring objections we and other major software vendors hear about cloud computing. And you see the first one is security. The second one is lack of control. It's a basic question. What are you doing with my data? You're giving it somewhere, and you don't know what people like Autodesk might be doing with the data. It's a simple answer. You own the data. It's as simple as that. And any contract you sign with any cloud computing uh, software vendor will say exactly the same. You are still in charge of your data. And remember, cloud is not a fad. Cloud has been here for a while. It's a global trend. How many of you do online banking on your mobile phone? How many don't have a bank account? No, I'm just kidding. So a lot of you. How many you know, shop at Amazon.com uh, at home? OK, it's all cloud computing. You use it at home. But a lot of people, when they get to the office and to their work, they suddenly become scared of it. But we're, we're quite happy to, to use it to do pay our bills uh, and, and buy new cars and, and all that nice stuff. And everyone's doing it. Um, if you use Office, if you use Box, if you use Google Drive, any of these, and there are many, many more, you're already exposed to the cloud. And cloud is everywhere. It's coming. It's everywhere. You can see these figures. If you can't read them, I'll read them for you. So software as a service, i.e. cloud uh, services, uh, revenues were $106 billion last year. And they're forecast to rise 21%. Uh, uh, they rose 21%, and they're increasing by 25% year on year. So not only is cloud already here, but it's extremely profitable to use cloud services. And what are the benefits? Well, I think you know they're pretty, pretty obvious. Um, you get best-in-class infrastructure without actually having to invest in infrastructure or in IT. Uh, uh, I won't say staff, because there may be some IT staff in here, um, but in, you know, in a lot of IT uh, expertise, et cetera. You get infinite computing power. You can do things with cloud technology that previously may have taken you hours, days, even weeks, depending on what you're doing. Uh, imagine rendering uh, a high-resolution picture of a, uh, of a hospital. If you used a desktop a few years ago, it would take you literally hours, and you'd probably crash the computer after a while. Uh, but now, this is done for you somewhere else, and you just get the results in, in rapid time, absolutely rapid time. There's lots of other um, infrastructure uh, benefits there you can read. It's highly available. You can use it anywhere. You can access your data anywhere. The costs are low. You basically pay for what you use. You don't have to buy thousands of dollars worth of software. You're just paying for the processing that you use. Uh, there's no efforts in migration when you change when, when the software is updated. So if you, as you know, Autodesk tends to update their software quite regularly, that's done for you. You, you may not even notice, to be honest. So you don't have to do uh, any migration um, uh, issues. You get fixed costs. I've put that in bold fixed costs. So you know exactly when and how much you need to pay for your software subscription or your cloud service subscription. And it's secure. And this is the crux of this very short presentation. It's actually probably more secure than on-premises uh, applications. Security is built in from day one. It's not traditionally you would install some software on a server or a PC or a laptop. And then security is a secondary consideration. You'd think, ah, it's like installing McAfee on Windows um, or Norton Antivirus on Windows after you've actually started using it. With cloud technology, um, it's built in from day one. It's the primary concern. And again, you don't have to worry about it. It's there. So let's put all that together. If you take all of that together, why would you even consider putting applications on your premises? You can get on and do all the other good stuff that makes your company profitable. And it's an effort uh, to do this. Let's have a look at an on-premise um, solution. 
You may have some file servers. You may have backup servers. You may have databases, application servers for the web, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You've got to link those all up. And then you've got uh, another site, maybe. Your company has two offices or three offices. And then you've got development. Um, you've got development environments as well. You've got a lot of stuff going on to keep all of your data and your applications on site. This is all done for you. It's all included in the cloud. When you subscribe to a cloud service, it's a, it's a granted. It's a given, as we say. It's absolutely there from day one. OK, so let's talk about secure cloud solutions. This is a nice analogy. We always feel very secure behind, behind walls. I felt very secure behind walls when I was at school and I was smoking illegally. I didn't think anybody could see me. But of course they could. And eventually those walls are torn down uh, by people, generally. It's always people. It's never, it's never sparrows or, or eagles. It's always people that tear the walls down. So lessons from history. And on-premise solutions are as vulnerable or more vulnerable than cloud solutions. The number one culprit in securing your data on-premise is, does anybody know? Guess what it is? It's people using USB sticks. People walking around, putting in USB sticks from a trade show, from an Orthodox university, I won't say that. Um, and they don't really know what's on it. And people taking data away with them, um, and so forth. There are lots of other reasons why on-premise solutions are very insecure. Let me describe what we term cloud computing. You have three levels. You have, uh, you have an infrastructure service, you have platform as a service, and you have software as a service. At Autodesk, we use Amazon Web Services. There's, there's no secret. All of your cloud services are operated by and stored on Amazon Web Services. Let me just ship through this. And here you can see another view of it. So at the top, you have the software, Autodesk software, that does all the stuff that you like. You press the buttons, you design, you analyze, et cetera. In the middle, the platform as a service does all of that um, analysis for you, searching, metering, et cetera. And at the bottom, it's actually where your data is stored. So what do we do at Autodesk to make sure that your investment and your data is secure? We do a lot. Um, we have product security, we have cloud security, and very importantly, we comply with, with international security regulations and bodies, um, which I'll talk about in a second. I think equally as important, we continuously assess any threat levels, any security issues we have. As I said, security is built in from day one, but that doesn't mean, of course, that people aren't gonna try and hack. They do. Everybody tries to hack these. Well, I don't, but um, a lot of people, there's a lot of bad people out there doing this stuff. So we continuously assess and we get feedback from customers about any issues and concerns they have. And that goes straight into the software. What are our actual activities? There are five basic ones that we undertake at Autodesk to make sure your investment is secure. The first one is probably the obvious one identity and access management. From the good old password to retina scanning, fingerprint um, recognition, and so forth. Those are all being implemented, or they're coming online very rapidly. Network and uh, perimeter security, of course. We do things like um, uh, probe testing. So we actually have uh, people who regularly monitor the network and make sure there are no Trojans coming in. I think they're called Trojans. Uh, they were ancient civilization, but um, we do that. Security hardening, we make sure that no company's data are stored together. They're all kept like in a, in a vault, in separate silos uh, of, of data. Threat and vulnerability management is very important. We employ a third-party security, IT security company, to try and attack our servers twice a year. 
So they try and attack our servers twice a year to see if they can get in. This is, it's a serious business. We take it very seriously. Uh, and they will come up with any, any loopholes they find and, and report back. And of course, host security. Amazon Web Services have their own, obviously, security protocols in place. I said earlier, you know, how many people uh, buy on Amazon? You wouldn't buy on Amazon if you didn't think it was unsafe with your credit card details, et cetera. We have that all built in. And we're members of something that sounds like it comes from a Star Wars movie, uh, the Cloud Security Alliance. Uh, you can see a lot of the big companies are all signed up there. Um, we drive it as a member. All the members drive it together. And we just provide best practices for uh, making cloud even more secure. Just as important, maybe even more important, is the fact that we comply with certifications, internationally recognized certifications. So there is something beautifully called SOC 2 and also ISO 27001. All of our products, most of our products, and increasingly every single product we will bring out, are certified in this way, which means that people look at them and they say, yes, that is, from a software perspective, that is secure. And we have a product security team. I'm not sure if that's actually them. I need to find out. But they're dressed very smartly um, and, and looking good. We have a team out there that you can access. Uh, we have a website where you can look at the state of the cloud services, whether they're down. You have uh, access to the website where you can ask questions about cloud security and get them answered and so forth. So these guys are working. Uh, every week to make sure that your investment and your data uh, is safe and also to um, help you if you do have any issues. Finally, we have some answers to some objections. Let's have a look at the first one, security of data. Security is built in from the beginning. I've already said that. Lack of control. The data belongs to the customer. It doesn't belong to Autodesk uh, at all. And, and there are many more. I'm not going to go through them all. But there, there are you know, reasonable answers to some of these major objections. And that, you know, as I said, most of the objections are just like, uh, it doesn't feel right. It's not the way we used to do things. And I'm concerned about my data. I think the key takeaway is that when you take all of those security considerations into account and what we're doing about it, you really can't start looking seriously at cloud computing and the technologies that companies like Autodesk provide around it. Uh, cloud computing is scalable. You can scale from one license to 200 licenses in, in a matter of minutes. You can use it anywhere because it's um, up in the cloud. You can take your data away with you on holiday if you like. You can take your applications to the beach and you can design. Um, anytime, it's 24 seven and it is secure. So that was a very, very quick look at cloud security. Um, I'm here if you want, at the end, if you want to ask me any questions.